Look at that back there. That is awesome. We just spent three nights camping by this beautiful lake in the awesome Cootie Koala 7 air tent from RBM Outdoors. In this video, I'm gonna take you around our campsite and show you everything we have set up and all the gear we used to make this the best camping trip it could be. Some of these things I have a complete detailed review on the channel, like the tent, and some of these things you're gonna be seeing for the first time. So let's go ahead and start with the Cootie Koala 7 air tent from RBM Outdoors. This tent is absolutely enormous. It is 12 by 16. It has vents on the front and back. It has windows all around. It has skylights on the top. It has a stove jack on the top so you can keep warm. The windows are interchangeable in several ways, as is the front. This whole front comes off. And you can find a complete review inside and out all around this thing on this channel. And as I said, you can get this from RBM Outdoors. I will have a link below where you can get a discount by using my own code, NathanRBM. And let me tell you, I paid full price for this tent before I ever became an affiliate of RBM, and it is worth every penny. We're gonna go inside in just a second here, but let's come back over here for a minute and let me tell you about our bathroom. This is a five by five tent made by King Camp. This can be used as a shower or a changing room, or as we used it, a bathroom. It has a vent in the top, a rain fly on the top, two windows, and the door zips all the way around. Now as we step inside, you can also see that the floor has some mesh around the edges. That's in case you should decide to use this as a shower. There is a hook up at the top. There's a hook over here. You can use that to hang your shower bag on if that's what you're using this for. But as I said, we used it just for a bathroom and a place to keep our trash. There is plenty of room in here. Like I said, it is five feet by five feet. We've got this folding table in here, which we picked up from Amazon. Amazon. I'll put a link for that below. The trash can itself is a collapsible trash can. We picked that up from Amazon. The toilet itself is made by Ann Katie Portable Toilets. It collapses as well, and it packs right into this bag here. It's about two inches thick. This lid opens up. The whole thing comes off. You basically put a trash bag in there. And this is a pretty gross subject, but you open up a pack of this poo gel, Pour it in there. It's just a powder that whatever mixes with it will turn to a gel. Then you pull that out, tie it up, throw it in the trash, put in a new bag, and it's all ready for the next person. Now the toilet is sold by itself. As I said, it's made by Ann Katie. The bags and the poo gel you can get in a kit. There are actually several of these kits available on Amazon, but this one came with the gel and three packs of bags. And while we're still in here, I have a couple more things to show you. There are bags around here. This is plastic with a flap. In case you're using it for a shower, you can put your cell phone or any electronics or keys or anything in there. They won't get wet. There is another bag over here. This is a drawstring bag that opens on the bottom. I'm not really sure what that is for but we have another bag over here and that is where we've been keeping our trash bags and the poo gel never thought i'd be making a video about poo gel the last thing we have in here is this light that we have hanging up here this is kind of convenient it is a motion and dark activated light you put it on auto on the back here and when you come in here and it detects you moving it lights up and then after you leave after 15 seconds it shuts off now i will say these are not very bright it's convenient it has a magnet on the back a hook on the top and if you don't have another light like i said it's convenient it recharges just with a cord that comes with it, but we found it was better just to carry a lantern out here, and I'll show you that lantern in just a minute. But that takes care of our little bathroom. It was very convenient to have it right here on site next to our tent. It was very private, and it was just very nice to be able to use that instead of porta potties which are over there. So let's go ahead over to the tent. We're going to take a look inside. So we'll start with the welcome mat. Marion actually picked this up off of Timu. She said it was like less than $10. This is about two and a half by three feet. It's very absorbent so it worked perfectly for when you're stepping off of the wet ground here. Wipe your feet, kick off your shoes, and step right into the tent. And as we step in you'll notice that there is carpet inside this tent. These carpets actually came from Lowe's. They are each 8 by 10 They were about 200 bucks a piece. I actually picked these up to use with my other tent, the Panda Large, but they fit in here perfectly well. And if we look back here, you can see they just don't quite meet the edges. But aside from just the aesthetic of this meeting the edge, that was okay because we use that edge of the tent for things like backpacks and blankets and boxes. But I think these are awesome, and they look really good in here. The light color helps to make it look even bigger in here. As you can see, we have a good handful of things to go over in here. We're going to 
to look at each and everything and I'll tell you where you can get them. Let's start with this little section over here. As you can see, we did a Halloween theme for this camping trip. I picked both of these blankets up off of Amazon. Honestly, I don't remember the brand, the price, or anything else, but as with everything in this video, I'm going to be putting links below if you want to check it out yourself. The footrests I also picked up off Amazon. Those fold down. They're easy to store. If we remove this blanket, you can see the folding chairs that we're using. I actually picked these up at Sam's Club. I'm not sure if I'll be able to have a link to these or not, but I will put something similar if I don't. We really love these chairs. They're very comfortable, very solid, but they do take up a lot more space and storage than I wish they did. This folding table here I picked up off Amazon. I actually bought three of those. You can see that we have two of them back here, one on each side of the bed. These are very convenient. They fold up very small. They're just kind of flimsy, and they come with this plastic on it. Now, I realized that this plastic helps to make everything you put down there non-slip, but in my opinion, it's kind of unsightly, so I removed all those strips from the two tables back here. It looks much better, but everything slides on those tables. I was looking for some kind of a small table cover that had Halloween colors in it, and I couldn't find anything, so these are just placemats. Those also came from Amazon, as well as these battery-operated candles. I absolutely love these. Look at the little tiny lights around there, and then we've got the flame, and when you turn out the lights, and you look at those flames, they almost look like they're flickering. And as you can see, we have them right there. We have them on each side of the bed back here, and that made it look really nice in here at night. So while we're looking back here into the bedroom, let's talk about this bed. This awesome Halloween bedspread came from Amazon, as well as those shams. They came together. This is a king-size set. They have other options. Those pillow shams back there just have regular-size pillows in them, but they could easily fit king-size pillows. If we pull this up, you can see we have sheets on the bed as well, and these are super deep pocket fitted sheets, and this came in a set as well. It came with the fitted sheet, a top sheet, and like six pillowcases. And I will tell you, this inflatable mattress here is 24 inches tall, so that is a 24 inch deep fitted sheet. Now if I take everything off the bed you can see this is a 24 inch king size inflatable mattress by Intex. This thing is huge and it is super comfortable. Probably the most comfortable air mattress I've ever slept on. These air mattresses used to be like one giant balloon, but now they actually have different chambers inside that inflate, so it holds the air much better. I did add a little bit of air to this the second night before we went to bed, but it doesn't actually lose air. It actually just stretches. After you've used it for a little while, it'll be through that phase of stretching, and it will actually hold that air for a long time. Now this comes with its own built-in pump. In order to blow this up, you open this little thing here, pull out the cord, plug that in, and turn this to inflate. When you're done, you jam that back in there and close that up, and you're good to go. When you're ready to deflate it, all you have to do is turn that and the air starts coming out. Now that's all fine and dandy, but if you're asking your camping, what are you using to plug that in? That will be a nice segue to this area. And what I'm using to plug that in, as well as anything else that needs power while we're camping, is the Jackery Explorer 300. I do have a full review of this up on the channel as well, but just to give you a quick look at it right here, it's a portable power bank. It comes with a cord that you use to plug it in at home and charge it up. It also comes with another cord that you use to plug into your car to charge it. And you can also charge it with a solar panel, which would be very handy while you're out camping, but we didn't use it on this trip, so we'll save that for another video. But just to give you a quick look here, you have two regular household plugs. You have a 12 volt plug here. This is the input when you plug it in to charge it. You have a USB-C and two regular USBs here. Now, how long this is going to last is going to depend on what you're using it for. At a full charge, it powered this TV for about three hours. It will easily recharge your phones and laptops several times. And I use a CPAP at night. So on a full charge, this lasted seven hours to run my CPAP. For the lighting along the inside roof of our tent, we use these little hanging lanterns. 
These are called retro lamps. These recharge with a provided USB-C cable. It comes with a hook and a rubber cord. The cord is actually about eight inches tall. I tied all those knots just so that it would only hang down that far. You've got a little button on the side here that lights up when it's charged, and it has several different settings and colors of lights. I love these. It's one of my favorite things that I've bought for our tents. And while we're talking about lighting, let's go back to what I was saying about taking a lantern into the bathroom. This is a Coleman electric lantern, which actually uses batteries. I do have a review up of this on the channel. I'm actually comparing it with one that recharges. Both of them are awesome lanterns. Just one of them lasts longer than the other. One of them uses batteries, the other you have to recharge. This has a low, and a high setting. And this was perfect to take outside to go to the bathroom when it got dark at night. We've also used this inside the tent here and hung it right up here in the middle of the tent and it illuminated the entire thing. Now, before we go any further, I just wanna point out how absolutely enormous this tent itself is. I just told you this is a king size mattress and you saw how we had a table at each side with even more room on each side. And we had all kinds of stuff Stuff on each side over here that we were using during our camping trip. 12 feet wide, 16 feet long. This tent is enormous. And if you go back on the channel, you can watch in the complete review where this is actually a two room tent. So it has a partition that can be put in where you can actually seal off that second room back there for a little bit more privacy. So moving on here, let's talk about the laundry bag. It's pretty simple. It's a big, nice laundry bag here. It just matches the inside of the tent good. We have drawstrings on it. I think I actually picked this one up at a local store, but you can find these on Amazon for pretty cheap, 15, 20 bucks handles to carry it, just another awesome thing that you need on your camping trip. Let's talk about the TV. There is a full review up on my channel of this as well. This is called the LG Stand By Me Go. This is a portable TV. I believe it's a 27 inch screen. As you can see, we've got the fireplace going on there right now. This has crackling sounds with it. Turn that up, you can hear it. That's just a nice little aesthetic if you wanted a fire in your tent without having a fire in your tent. If we go to the home screen, you can see it has all these options like a regular TV, Netflix, Prime Video, Disney, Hulu, Sling, Apple TV, Max, all kinds of things. You can go this way and it shows you other different options like our fireplace, the ocean, sunset, morning sunshine, cozy cabin in the snow. These are fun just to put on and it makes it so much cozier inside. You can actually connect your phone to this either wide wirelessly or with an HDMI cord. It actually has AirPlay if you have an iPhone. I have had difficulty with my Samsung Galaxy, so I've had to use the HDMI cord. This TV does use a Wi-Fi connection, but if you don't have Wi-Fi, you can download Netflix movies onto your phone, and when you're somewhere without Wi-Fi, you can cast it right to that TV and watch those movies. This has a remote and a nifty place to put it. There is a power cord right underneath there. This does charge, and it will give you about three three to five hours of use on a full charge, depending on what you're watching. When you're done, you push the power button, power off. The TV screen actually folds down into the case. The case closes, lock it up, carry handle and put it away. Now, some people say this isn't worth the money. It is almost a thousand dollars. They say this is just like a giant tablet. And if you're happy with the tablet, that's fine. The benefits I find with this is that it is 27 inches. It is just like having a TV in your own home. So it makes it a little bit more comfortable sitting in here watching. And the case is great. It makes it so easy to transport and store and keeps it safe in your vehicle as opposed to just having a TV in there with the screen getting hit by other things. Speaking of fire, we have the Caminus M hot tent stove that is actually made by RBM for this type of tent. This is the medium stove. They do make a small. Apparently, they used to make a large, but I don't see that that's available anymore. You can see I do have it disassembled right now, but those pipes all go together. They stick in the top, and they go up through this stove jack right here. There's a Velcro flap on that that just opens up, so you can put that through there. I do not have my complete review up on this yet, 
but let me tell you, it is awesome. It was in the 40s the other night, and this thing had it in the 70s inside this tent. When I bought this tent, I bought it in a bundle with the stove, but you can buy it separately on the RBM Outdoor website. It comes with the stove, the stove pipes, the ash shovel, even a pair of gloves, heat deflectors, and it is packed inside this awesome wooden box. And that brings us to the rest of the things on this table right here, as well as the table. The table I picked up off Amazon as well. It's a foldable table. It folds down to just a little sliver, a little bit bigger than the TV box here. This is a great camp kitchen table. Nice size here. I believe this is 48 inches by 20 inches if I'm not mistaken. I could be a little off on that. And down here we do have two zip compartments here. We open those up. You can see I just have a few things in there right now. Great storage under this table here. There's even more room underneath it to slide some other things if you have boxes of things you just don't want in your way. So let's just go left to right on this table. We're going to start with this right here, this Sturme Electric pump. This is what I use to blow up the tent. The tent actually comes with a hand pump, but believe me, you want one of these. This comes from Amazon. I believe it was about $120. It comes in this zip case. It comes with a tube. You connect the tube to the unit, the other end to the tent, hit the button, and it blows up the tent in about five minutes. Next, we have this nifty little recharger here. This is a solar power bank, and this thing is awesome for recharging your cell phones. I charged this up to 100 one time before we left, and we've been using it the entire time to recharge our cell phones. And if it died, you could just take it outside and set it in the sun, and it is a solar charger. So it recharges just sitting outside in the sun. This is actually one of my favorite purchases for camping. Next, we have a couple of little simple things here. One of them is a headlight. This I think I got at Walmart, actually. Ozark Trail, this straps around your head. You hit this button here, and it turns on. There's a couple of different settings. Wear that at night when you go outside and you can see everything you do and both hands are free. We've got this little thermometer here just because I was curious when I was going to use my stove. I wanted to be able to see what it was outside as well as inside. And like I said, that stove brought this up to 72 degrees the other night when it was in the 40s outside. This is by Thermopro and this was only a couple bucks on Amazon. Just uses one AAA battery. We've even got a magnet on the back if you had something it could stick on. It's got this little fold down thing here where you can set it on the desk or it has a hole in the top where you can actually hang it on a nail. All right, we are almost done here, guys. We've got this coffee pot that Marion got off of Amazon. We made our coffee in this this morning. This is a percolator. The only thing different I would like with this is if you could see it percolating through the little clear part on the top, but you can't. It has the innards here. You can see it's dirty. We need to wash it when we get home, but we just fill that up with water, put your coffee in the top, put that right on your camp stove there. About 15 minutes later, you have some awesome coffee for breakfast. Speaking of the camp stove, we have this little stove right here. It is a foldable two burner stove by Kofi Yard or Coffee Yard. I don't know. This came from Amazon as well. It folds up. This piece comes off. This is the piece that actually connects to the propane. We used this this morning for coffee and last night to make dinner. We made little pizzas. Use your little one pound propane tank. I got this from Walmart for like six bucks. Connect it onto here. Turn this little knob and then use your little lighter. Flick it here and it lights that right up. Turn that off when you're done. Let it cool down. Then you unscrew this part, take it off, fold this up, rubber strap connects right up here on that screw to hold it closed and you're good to go. Oh, and it also comes with this handsome carrying case. Open that up, put it right inside, stick that in there with it. Close the top and zip it up. Very easy and two handles to carry it with. And last but not least, we've got this kitchen set right here. It's just basically a set of utensils you would use while cooking. It comes in its own handsome carrying case. Unzip it all the way around, open it up, and you can see we've got some scissors, some knives in there. We've got a spatula, salt and pepper shakers, a whisk, and a handy dandy washcloth. It also comes with a cutting board. 
There are several different types of these available on Amazon, but this one served the purpose perfectly. So there is a complete look once again at the inside of the tent as it is set up for this Halloween camping trip. Everything in here made this camping trip very easy, very comfortable, and we slept like kings on that bed. And that is everything that we used on this camping trip from the tent to the bathroom to the gear and everything in between. I will have a link in the description below to every Every single thing you just saw in this video and I hope you can find what you're looking for that will make your next camping trip totally awesome.